Hey, hello again YouTube. So, um, following up from my previous video on immigration, let's take a look at the Immigration UK opportunity. So, what we've been doing with policy on immigration so far is to provide shelter and provide refugee status and provide infrastructure and services for people that are migrating to the UK. What we're doing then is we are completely ignoring the plight of the communities that are the homes of the people that migrated here. Now, we spend a vast amount of money on foreign aid budget, which is essentially gifted almost in cash to the countries that need or require it, um, which is a tremendous expense to the taxpayer, and we see very little return for that. Now, the British people have always been, and I believe will always be, a very compassionate, understanding and human people. But we're also very capable um, and we have been able to um, generate and create a civilised society. We've been able to create infrastructure and technology and we've been able to set about setting ourselves up as a very strong and independent nation. And globally we're very respected for our culture and our people and our values. If we were to approach the migration issue differently, now discount for a moment the situation with war zones, that needs to be dealt with in a different way. But take the situations in other countries where the people are leaving because of the opportunities that they see in Europe and in the West. They are doing that because um, they see a better life, the grass is greener on the other side. Now, if we were to take that aid budget and if we were to use the support of our military in a support and civil engineering and, and services role, and we were to use that foreign aid budget to fund crisis groups, to fund um, deployment groups where we could take engineers and skilled technicians, teachers, health workers, um, people like that from the UK, and we could deploy them into these societies to do the kind of work I was talking about that Christian response to Eastern Europe were doing, which was to provide the infrastructure, to rebuild the schools, to provide things like the BBC micro bit, for example, to uh, schools in school children in, in Africa, to provide the teaching, to provide the infrastructure, the internet connectivity, the electricity, the other functions and facilities. Now, that could come from the foreign aid budget and it could be spent on the ground in those communities but it could also be spent paying the people in those crisis groups paying the people from Britain with those skills to go and support and grow those communities and grow those economies to pay for the education and the establishment of greater skill sets in Britain that can then be used to help others bootstrap their economies and their communities up from um, third world to second world to first world. The global impact that we could have, the influence that we could have as the British people around the globe by doing that, imagine the power of that. This is the philosophy of don't give a man a fish but, and feed him for a day or a week, but teach a man to fish and he can feed his family and the families around him. That's a great opportunity for us here in Britain. And I'd urge you and encourage you to write to your MP. And that's really important to do that. They're not going to hear your voice in all the noise on social media. You need to write a letter, put a stamp on it, send it to your MP with this point of view. And uh, let the voice of the majority speak out. Let those of us that are think, truly thinking about this, truly, you know, raise our voices. Don't be silenced by those people that want to call us names and, uh, and, uh, and be small-minded about it. Be open-minded, think big, think great, be strong. It's a great UK opportunity. Do subscribe to the channel, please comment and let me know what you think. I'm Rick Timmis, I'll see you soon.